In this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the point offset feature in TBC. What we have been given is a intersection detail from the engineer uh, for how he wants this intersection built. So what we need to do is get this information from the PDF to our actual working file. And how we do that is by the use of the offset tool. Before I get started of actually putting in points, I want to come in and I want to make sure that I have a few things displaying on my points. I like to have a point number. I like to have the station, the offset that was given, and the elevation. This way, I'm able to cross-reference the model that I'm building to the PDF intersection detail to make sure that I didn't make a mistake either on the offset or on elevation. So how I'll do this is I'll come right up here to advanced setting, filter settings. And once I'm there, down at the bottom, you'll see points. And I'm going to make sure that my point symbol shows, feature code, and elevation. Once I have that, I click apply. And you'll see now that those are set to show up on all my points as I put them in. Now I'm ready to start utilizing the tool. One of the other things that you need to have done before you can also utilize this tool is to have a horizontal alignment set up for, say, the road or a drainage channel, whatever the entity is going to be. Since this is already in a working file, I already have a horizontal alignment for my road generated. If you don't know how to do that, you can go under Help in the Help area of Trimble Business Center and learn how to do a horizontal alignment. Now that I'm ready to go, I have my horizontal alignment set up. I have my points showing the way that I want. Up here on the CAD, CAD tab for uh, TBC, I have a point symbol right here where it says create points. I'm going to click on that and this point box pops up. Now what I'm going to do is start generating points for this. If you notice, I already have 99 points in here. I've utilized this tool for other areas of the project. What I'll do is I'll come in, and for this video, I'm going to separate these points from other points that I've done. So we'll come in here and say that we'll start out with, like, point 300. The layer that I set up for the project for this intersection is called inter, inter points. Um, you can label it whatever you want. You can create a, a layer for the intersection name, north, south, east, west. One of the cool features in the new version of TBC is I can click in the layer box, hit the space bar. It pops up a new layer manager. I can create a layer really quick on the fly. In this case, I already have one created. I'll pull that down, and we'll go back to our intersection points. Now, the feature code is where we're going to enter in this information. I'm going to enter in the station and the offset that I'm putting in. So our first point here is going to be station 206 plus 60. I'm going to do OS 30 left. Next step is I'm going to come down to these question marks here. I'm going to click on them and I'm going to put both of these to survey quality and then click in the northern box. Once I'm in the northern box, I'm going to right mouse click, and this is how you're going to find the tool for the offset. I'm going to come down to where it says offset, hover over it, and we're going to go offset line. Once I click that, this box will change. It's going to ask me for the line. This is where having a horizontal alignment set up comes in handy because now it's going to utilize that line to calculate your offset from a station. I'll click on it. And it'll say, which line do I want to use? And I'll go horizontal alignment. And it'll say, ask me for the station. And we know our first station is going to be 206 plus 60. The offset we're going to do is negative 30. And we have to put negative in there because we're going to the left. Click OK. Tab down to the elevation and type in 622.56, which is the elevation given to us. Hit Enter. And you'll notice that. It has now generated a point on that line, which represents that point right there. And we can see our station, our offset, and the elevation. And we're able to do a quick cross-reference to make sure that it, that point was right. Our next one is going to be 
20680. So I'll just come in here and I'm going to change that to 80. Our offset's still going to be 30 feet. So I can leave that the same. Click in the uh, northern box. Right mouse click. Offset line. Again, click our horizontal alignment. Type in the station. We're going to again be negative 30. We can hit enter here. Tab down to the elevation. And our elevation for this point is 622.05. And hit enter and it will add it. And we can zoom in to make sure that we're correct here on our elevations. Come over to here and now we're going to change this code and we're going to make it 207 plus 00, zero and we're going to do an offset of 32.45. Click in the northern box, go down to our offset again, click on our line, type in our station, tab down. This is going to be negative 32.45. Click OK. Type in the elevation of 621.62. Hit Enter. And as you can see, how simple and easy it is to take this detail information that the engineer has given us and get it from the PDF over to our working model. Once I have all the points in, the next step is I'll use another tool which will allow me to then take the line that we need to have elevated and elevate that line based upon the elevations of the given spot information. I will show that in a, in a further video. Until the next video, my name is Mike Tartaglia. I'm with Takeoff Professionals. We are a full service GPS modeling, earthwork takeoff, drone, and training company. If you should have any questions on our services, feel free to give us a call at 623-776-9546.